We already know the reactant. We already know the product. Okay. Normally, in this life, there is no ideal situation. Tak ada yang 100% ideal. Mesti ada yang kurang ideal. Maksudnya kan, guys, memang betul, this is your mess, this is your time taken. This is second, this is the gram. Then, guys, I teach you just now, going down and going up. Guys, sekarang kan, by just looking at the graph, let's say I have a A and B like this, by just looking at the graph, you already know which one is reactant, which one is the product. Siapa product? Siapa product dalam kes ni? Siapa product? Yes, the A is the product. Pandai. Why you say A is a product? Kenapa A tu product? Sebab graph dia increasing. Pandai. Pandai. Very good. So, now, now, you look at that. But, our life cannot be 100% ideal. Yang tadi tu teori je. Normally, when you draw a Ini dipanggil rate of reaction punya graph. Eh? Rate of reaction. Rate of reaction. Graph dia akan naik gini. Ha. Ini menunjukkan apa? Dia ada reaction. Dia tak completely habis. Bermaksud, in the same time, the reactant tak sentuh bawah. Dia meng-approach like this. Meng-approach je. Eh? Menghampiri macam ini. So, this is the real life. This is the real life. Just now, I just give you a theory. This is your product. This is your product. This is your reactant. Faham ke tak? Maksudnya, maksudnya apa cikgu? Kenapa dia tak sentuh paksi Y? Eh, paksi X. Walaupun kau masak lapitah magnesium tu 3 hari 3 malam Kita percaya Mesti ada sedikit yang Sedikit yang tertinggal Sedikit yang tertinggal Tak habis tindak balas Faham ke tak? Yes, Farah Kimia Limiting factors Limiting factors uh, that is what we call limiting perf, uh, factors. <coughs> Jadi kan guys, <coughs> can I ask you something? Uh, kamu dah belajar dekat ADMAT, ADMAT, kamu dah belajar differentiation ke belum? Perbezaan. Allah, tak belajar lagi eh. Tapi sumaya dah kan? Sumayan dah kan? Differentiation. Okay. Sekarang ni, what I'm trying to say, guys, I'm going to take the blue one. The blue one. So, I have this one. Okay. Katakan eh, macam mana nak ajar? Okay, tengok eh. I want to calculate rate. Rate is, in this case, is a mass over time taken. Then, what is the mass? Mass is on y-axis. And the time is in uh, on the x-axis. Paksi y, paksi x. Guys, ini adalah gradient. Guys, korang ingat tak apa formula gradient? Perkecerunan. Dia adalah y2 tolak y1 bahagi x2 tolak x1. Y2 tolak Y1, X2 tolak X1. Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2, X2 minus X1. Ingat lagi ke tak benda ni? Ingat lagi ke tak benda ni? Okay, ingat. Di mana, what is the short form of this thing? Short form of this thing boleh ditulis sebagai delta Y over Delta X. Delta Y over Delta X. Ingat lagi tak benda ni? 
Okay, sekarang ni a bit form 5 punya. Sumaya. Sumaya. Okay, you belajar kan delta y delta x ni. Okay. De delta, ejaan dia apa dia Sumaya? Delta, first word letter. Okay, sebab itulah dia dipanggil sebagai dy dx. Differentiation. The D is the differentiation. Faham ke tak? Semaya. Okay, guys. Sekarang ni, uh, maybe PT3 you have learned. Macam mana saya nak cari kecerunan untuk garis yang tak lurus? Ini lurus ke, guys? Is this a straight line? Is is this a straight line? No, how to find a straight line punya gradient? How to find the straight line punya gradient? Any idea? Ah, Sumaya dah belajar. Yes, we use the tangent line. Ingat tak tangent line? Ingat tak tangent line, my dear student? From PT3? Ha, apa tu tangent line? Tangent line dia adalah satu garis yang lalu perpendicular dengan line. It is perpendicular with the line. Dia berserenjang dengan garisan tersebut. Guys, once you dah lukis tangent line ini, you buatlah Macam ini, a segitiga. Ha. Nampak tak segitiga? Therefore kan guys, macam mana nak kira panjang ini? Tell me. Macam mana nak kira panjang ni? Tell me. Macam mana nak kira panjang ni? Macam mana kira panjang ni guys? Panjang ni, panjang ni. <coughs> Tengok beza mass. Very good. So, you buatlah macam ni. Y2 minus Y1. Sebab sini kan Y2. Ini kan Y1. Jadi, Y2 minus Y1 you dapatlah ini. Yeah, y2 minus y1, you dapatlah delta y. You dapatlah delta y. Sekarang ni, sekarang ni, macam mana nak cari panjang ini pula, guys? Yang bawah ni. Let's say this is your x2, this is your x1. Macam mana nak cari? Dia adalah X2 minus X1. Apa ni? Is your delta X. Eh guys, saya nak tanya kamu. Kamu ada tak delta Y? Ada ke tak? Do you have a delta Y? Do you have delta X? Do you have delta Y and delta X? Yes. Maka guys, you, you, you ganti kat sini. You ganti kat sini. Di delta Y over delta X is what? Is what? Delta Y over delta X is what? Gradient. Gradient is what? Gradient is what? The rate. Inilah cara nak kira rate of reaction. Inilah cara nak kira rate of reaction. Faham tak? The M will be the rate of reaction. That's why we learn about this thing. Okay, siapa nak screen capture do it now? Jangan conting lah. <laughs> Kenapa Farah? <coughs> the graph just 
Tak komen. Kenapa? Eh, kimia ni banyak matematik tau. When you go in a higher level, you will notice a lot of calculation in uh, chemistry. All your ad math and modern math will become basic for chemistry. That become basic for your chemistry. <laughs> Tak apa, nanti kau belajar dengan saya, semua minat. Semua subjek nanti jadi minat. Okay, done. Okay, done. Boleh saya padam? Okay, guys. Dia akan tanya macam ni tau. <coughs> from, from the... Graph, calculate the rate of reaction at, contoh ya, 60 second. Dia akan bagi graph ataupun kamu sendiri kena lukis graph. So, you know, let's say this is the mass, this is the time. Katakan dia bagi graph going like this. And katakan ya, 60 second dekat sini. Dia cakap apa? Kirakan rate pada 60 second. Kirakan rate pada 60 second. So, maksudnya kan guys, let me teach you. You go up, 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 up. You sentuh kat sini. You lukis tangent line. You lukis segitiga. You kira delta Y, you kira delta X, maka you dapat kira rate. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <coughs> Done. Dan ya? <coughs> Okey. Apa dia Sarah? Sarah ada soalan tu. Okey, good. Guys, let's see eh. Saya lukis balik graf tu besar-besar. Okey. You have something like this. You have something like this. Kan? Guys, you are very good in your mathematics, kan? Saya ada satu tangent line like this. Satu lagi tangent line like this. Uh -huh. Guys, ini adalah gradient. Gradient adalah rate. Guys, boleh tak bagi tahu saya rate dia? Red dia ni, apa yang kamu observe? Antara yang merah dengan biru. Antara yang merah dengan biru, what do you observe? Mm -hmm. You are good in mathematics. Tell me. The black line will going to have what kind of gradient? Garis hitam akan mempunyai kecerunan yang macam mana? Kecerunan yang macam mana? Bukan, bukan. Ah, Alisha betul. Danush pun betul. Dia akan ada positif gradient. Dia akan mempunyai kecerunan positif. Ini akan mempunyai kecerunan negatif. One have a positive gradient and the other one have a negative gradient. Alisha, form 4 ke form 5 ya? Eh? Alisha dengan Danush. Alisha dengan Danush, form 4 ke form 5? Hmm. But, okay, you managed to answer a lot of questions. Eh? Bagus. Okay, good. Guys, saya nak tanya kamu. Tak adalah. Tak adalah cakap genius. Mungkin dia dah belajar and, and semua kan. Kita kan kena revision. Okay, dengar sini. Dengar sini. 
Yelah, yelah. Semua pandai. Dengar sini. Bila kita cakap positif, positif, kenapa dia positif? Kenapa dia positif? Tell me, why it is positive? Such, that is chemistry. Uh, uh, that is mathematic. I want in chemistry. I want in chemistry. Why it is positive? Not great increase. Saya tanya kenapa positive? Dear positive guys, because dia kan produk. Produk kan increases. Hasil kan bertambah. Why negative? Why negative? Why it is negative? It is reactant. Why about the reactant? Reactant kan decreases. Jadi, dalam rate of reaction, kalau kamu jumpa positif negatif, itu hanya menunjukkan dia tu produk atau reactant. Itu je. Itu je. Dia hanya tunjuk dia tu produk atau reactant. Faham? Faham? Faham ke anak-anak? Oh,